There's the 0-2. Chases it. Did he go around? He did not. He offered the off-speed low and away. 1-2 pitch. Swing. Another cl close one. This time Ortiz went around. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And out number one in the top of the second. It was a solo home run to Oliver Dunn. Back on April 21st. And Lou is getting called for a balk. Wilson now to third, Martin to second. So now there are two runners in scoring position with one away, and there takes away your opportunity for a possible easy double play. Swing and a miss. Attacks him high and inside with that fastball again at 96. It's a swing and a miss, and that's the, that's the fastball we've been seeing that's been so successful for Lou. And typically, it's that fastball for him that's he's been able to use to dial in the zone a little bit and get himself back into pitcher's counts. Called strike two on the low and outside corner. Every game, here's the 2-2. Two -two. And that's a called strike three on the high and outside corner. And a huge out here in the top of the second. We head back to the top of the batting order with Matthew Kroon. Really nice job from Lou there. Was able to get ahead with the fastballs early on. Goes off speed to finish it off. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of Nathan Hickey for strike three and out number one in the top of the third inning. Fourth strikeout from C.J. Lou, and that one coming on a fastball at 96. Lou kicks and the one-two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him again with the slider, low and away. Lou now kicks, spins back to second. Rojas is off the bag and they tag him out. As Lou comes set at the belt in the 1-0 pitch, dots the outside part of the plate for strike one, goes fastball again at 94. 1-1 pitch to Wilson is swung on and missed for strike two. Goes fastball again, 95. 1-2 pitch is chased for strike three. Another strikeout for C.J. Liu to get the leadoff man in the top of the fourth inning. Payoff pitch to McDowell, swung on and missed for strike three, out number two.